All right, guys, Nick Drosos. I'm here with Francisco Randes, and we're looking at, uh, you know, some clinching, escaping, clinch from a street fight, or how to clinch somebody properly. A lot of fights happen in close quarter range. So a lot of times the person's here, he's talking, he either pushes, mm -hmm. mouth is off, and at some point, very often, you're gonna see people clinch. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. They're just grabbing, holding on. So, but from you, from, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu, how, how, how would you clinch? What is your way of clinching? So uh, there's the Thai clinch and the wrestling clinch. Again, okay. I'm not like a, a super professional, okay. but it's something that I use a lot. The clinch that we use in grappling usually involves, I'm right-handed, so this hand is gonna come right here behind the head. Okay. And I really go for an actual grip. You okay. know, you feel it, it's not just my head is not here. Like I actually grab the neck, yeah, I see it. right? So, and then you would probably, you know, grab my neck. Here, yeah. So again, if we turn around, there's a lot, if it's in a sports situation, this could work, you know, or even this, like, like a tricep grip. But in okay. a street fight, what I suspect is that if I open here, I open to a, some strikes, right? Yeah, like you have a bicep, exactly. you have a headbutt. So uh, first, you, met, you just said it, and I want to be as close as possible, yeah. you know. I want my head to be over yours. I don't want to be like this, because yeah. then I'm in a disadvantage. And I like to use that over grip instead of this, you know. So probably this would be good in a street yeah, and situation. I, and, and so I you would fight you, for that yeah. grip, yeah. you know. Prob so if the guy, you know, is doing all kinds, boom, you know, you want to come here. I'm grabbing the head, I'm close to your head, so I'm not getting head butted. Yeah. And I'm controlling this hand, right? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's very good. Like, I mean, from this position, I can't headbutt you. I can't really pop anything. If I was to strike here, yeah. probably the only thing I'd be able to do, even maybe as a knee, and it probably yeah. wouldn't go in because you'd be moving. Exactly. So, so that brings yeah. two, two other important points. First, this also acts as a shield. You see what I mean? If you try to come in, yeah. if you try to come in, I, I got this, you know? Yeah, there's nothing that could... So, this is also acting as a yeah, shield. And it's, it's, it's good because <laughs> you're controlling yeah. my body. So I'm also good. I'm also preventing the single leg or double leg because you you I good mean good point good yeah, point. So yeah. you would have to get rid of that arm. Yeah. Second thing, the body position. You know, you you don't want to be crouching. You know, this is slouching. This yeah, is slouching. slouching. Yeah. So this is not good. You want a, a nice posture. Like I said, if if you're, I'm taller than you. Like I want my head to be above you. Yeah. You know? So if you're in the clinch and you're the shorter guy, you don't want to end up here. This is no, not no, good. right now I can feel it. This like is I, not I lose control. What do you think? Like I teach grabbing the t-shirt instead. So if I'm here, <laughs> so me if I'm here, my, I'm always doing this. Uh, that's not bad, but I got this overhook here. So I mean, I don't, I don't see what you can do here. What I, I don't see how it's effective. You know, this is as effective. You feel my grip here. I control you now. You don't control yeah, me. That t-shirt is not doing anything. You yeah. Know? Well, I, I guess I do this because uh, if, if the person tries to pull away, I have a, st a stronger grip and I feel like... I mean, I, I feel the t-shirt is not a very solid, it's, it's not sturdy, it doesn't stick to the... It's not like a lapel, a judo gi or yeah, something. Yeah, so like you, you prefer hooking yeah. back here. I like this over here, how you bring yeah. the elbow so this way. So you want to bring it, you want to bring the elbow inside a little inside, bit, yeah. you know, it's not open. Because if you open, what's gonna no, happen is I can come and, and pass, you know? And so it's a little inside. In terms of striking up close, like I mean, when you look at jujitsu, if you're in a clinch, basically your goal would be to take me down, do a submission or whatever it is, right? In, in, how, how would you strike from a clinch? Um, I don't strike from the clinch, okay. but uh, if I, uh, but that's the whole point of the clinch. I mean, yeah. unless it were in, th in Muay Thai. Yeah. So if you stand up and if you get up, like I could probably, I oh could yeah, probably yeah, trip yeah. you right there. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Sure. You know. Yeah, you can go for a takedown from there. I can go for takedown, but most uh, um, we're trying to work our way to a throw or yeah. a trip. You did or judo sweep. too. You did judo too, right? Yeah, for a couple of years as a younger kid. What are the the, the judo? I actually like judo. I it's like amazing. It's amazing. Because sport. I love the fact that you take the person, you throw them down, but you're still standing. Right? So you're not actually going down to the ground. Well, grappling, most of the time, you're going down with them, right? If you commit to most throws in judo, you're going to end up on the ground. On the ground as well. Yeah, a lot of uh, sports judo throws okay. are op uh, open to back takes and stuff. But okay. I mean, judo has evolved a lot in the last few okay. decades to become a very spectacular sport. And a lot of the techniques 
probably wouldn't be a lot of judo techniques we don't use in jiu-jitsu okay. because you give your back or uh, okay. so uh, but some techniques are really really good i mean again judo it, it takes a lot of work a lot of work again it's huh? not going to just happen overnight it's third techniques you're going to have to to work on a lot but, but we have some judo guys very good judo guys that use their judo, judo. in no gi situations with okay. no grips and it, if you adapt it, it works pretty well. Like that trip is one of them, you know. So if you, like, here, if you see yeah, just like that. Just so that's so, that's so. If I'm here, I'm basically just rolling here and just putting the foot this way. Yeah. So again, like I said, those grips are important. You know, I'm gonna lift and 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 pull here in that. You know, so boom, boom, boom. I mean, it's not really hard. Yeah, to do yeah, that. it's not hard. But with experienced fighter, he's not gonna. It's not yeah, gonna it's not gonna work. Yeah. yeah. Like or, or maybe or it's gonna work, but you, your timing has to be very very good. Yeah, he's either gonna hook you at the same time yep. and try to take you down at the same time. Yes. Your takedowns. Um, so again, the, yes, like from the clinch. For example, I'm a taller guy yeah. usually. Yeah. Because I'm I'm very slim and lanky. Um, I, I I usually go for the snap down. So I snap. Oh. Uh, let's say you stay you stay up. Okay. You stay on your two. So I'm gonna go here. So no. this would be the move that I go for. When I want to take down, I, so I, 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 I love this right here. Chin Boom. strap is very important, and I squeeze your head, right? This is not open. And again, I get this overhook here. Yeah. So usually, what I do from here, I try to turn the corner, and you're on the ground. I'm yeah. still standing. And, and, there. and there's really not much I could do with that. No. Like I feel, I feel like my. You have control of my head, my neck, boom, my whole body just follows. Very good wrestlers are going to just ram and go for the double. Okay, just go right into there. But I mean, obviously, we're talking about athletes that uh, do this, for, yeah, living, do this for a living. Most of the time, so as a taller guy, maybe if you're clenching in a street fight and you manage to get this shin strap, then it's really easy to get the guy on the ground and then you can hammer yeah. fist or yeah, knee yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Wow. If you're the shorter guy, yeah. Then I would probably again stay very close, try to. Oh. So let's say I'm, I'm yeah, small. It's going to be home. maybe yeah. easier to yeah. come here and grab. This is a great position as well. The yeah. back is open. So again, what you want to do is you don't you don't just want to do this. You know, you want to do this and go down at the same time. And then you're also open to the double leg. Yeah, it's, but the, it, it takes a lot of training. Of like, course, I mean, yeah, you can see like. <laughs> explosive and you're fast at it you could tell like it's like bam, one shot yeah but again those they're very simple and effective yeah. tropes. one that works for a taller guy one works for maybe a shorter guy okay but again there's there are trolls that you're gonna have to work on yeah. how, how many years you, you you've studied this like I mean to do this like somebody who watches this right now will yeah. they be able to do it just by watching it no they're gonna have no, to you have to go and practice there's a lot I mean I'm not explaining a lot of details yeah, now because just, we don't have time yeah, to yeah, get into just, it it's just we overall. could do a full DVD a series of just like just that takedowns and I'm not a super specialist okay. but uh, I work on it a lot enough to know that there's a lot of work involved and you need to constantly work on it but you can get to pretty good results and okay. Uh, training not, not for 10 years you know for a couple so, of months like i'm looking at this like i mean if we're clinching now we're here like what your instinct as a striker let's say you were to strike what how would you strike if you had to just but here i'd probably go for knees you know like just if you're in, especially if you're if you're down here i got you yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so that's why you don't want i mean you don't want to be like this because then you if, if yeah, you go, if fine. you lean too much i'm going to take you down super easily but you also don't want to be here too straight yeah because then you're well, you know you're gonna knee me so so yeah that's yeah that's the position but again things are gonna happen pretty fast yeah you know? so it's like boom so here, if here, i here. get the ascendant on you and your head is lower it's gonna be even like this it's gonna be easier for me to bring you even lower so a very important thing is obviously don't let the person grab no that, grab that back of the neck and, and get that clinch I, uh, yeah once he yeah. gets it in there you gotta you gotta hammer it right away well it's e it's either you s you step away from it so in here you boom. know because because here again there's a lot of stuff you, do, you can you can do to be honest like i practice this a lot the two yeah. on one yeah like so we do here, this a lot because there's yeah. like obviously stuff that i can do from here i can take you down but it doesn't happen yeah it doesn't happen that yeah so it if it doesn't happen in the sports yeah you know uh, context it, it's not gonna happen in this yeah street. it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't necessarily look that way right you not go really. in like so let's say you go in slow motion 
So if you're here and you're you do this and I'm like, you know, or, or trying even to like two one one and yeah. I use my shoulder put, to put the pressure. This is very good, but I'm not there's nothing that's gonna happen from here. Yeah. It's just gonna open to more possibilities. Mm -hmm. So from here, maybe I can come and grab your leg and angle down. But it's not like in the movies. Yeah, no. yeah, it's like, like it's not slow no. motion. And, <laughs> no. and most guys in the street, like I mean it's gonna look like this, gonna look like yeah. that, grabbing. And like you could see them, right? I've seen like fights where the guys do this and they look like yeah. they're gonna throw this throw down. Next thing you know, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. like and all these wild punches because you have all the emotional, the fight or flight and all yeah. the fear and everything that kicks in. So But if you can time the if you can time it well, for example, we're let's say we're we're in a, a, a grab a, like a fighting okay. dual situation. The first punch that you let's say you're gonna Whoa. throw I, I just I just need to move here, lower myself and come and get the, I mean, I got you. Yeah. You know, I got you here. Boom, here. And, and I mean, I, I'm buying time and. So like, I mean, and that's, I think that's where like you look at the jujitsu, like all that timing, all that speed, yeah. understanding the angles and the yes. movement helps. And you add some strikes into that, you know, the knees and the elbows and the head butts and the, you know, striking the throat or the eye gouging, just understanding how to find the targets in there, then for sure, like it's, it's, it's a great combination. So yeah. guys, Nick Joso's Francisco Randis, check him out on Instagram. I'll put the link. I want you to teach me some stuff on the ground now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it guys. We're gonna do some ground fighting now.